Hello Movie Buffs, Morning Glory set in Television Network World is part Working Girl, part That Girl, and part The Mary Tyler Moore Show. But what it really wants to be is broadcast news, tough chance. Did you get a job yet? No. That's Rachel McAdams as Becky Fuller. She just lost her job as executive producer of Good Morning New Jersey. But Jeff Goldblum is about to become her savior. He's the boss of the IBS network who gives Becky the role of executive producer in their struggling fourth-placed morning show called Daybreak. Too low or too high to reach for. Watching Morning Glory is like going to work for me. I see the same type of characters and similar situations displayed on the big screen. Screen. I don't know if... Oh, uh... The shining stars of Morning Glory are Diane Keaton and Harrison Ford. She is Colin Peck, a morning anchor diva, and he is Mike Pomeroy, a veteran news anchor who despises morning shows. He thinks they ruin his sacred news temple. So how can Becky get him to co-anchor with Colleen? Interested. I was Miss as soon as Keaton and Ford are allowed to banter on screen, the film perks up, which makes the second half of the movie stronger than the first. Goodbye. I had high hopes for Morning Glory. First, it's produced by J.J. Abrams, the guy who gave us Lost and Star Trek, among others. And it's directed by Roger Mitchell, Venus, The Mother, Notting Hill. Morning Glory is not as good as his previous movies. Offer my condolences. Morning Glory would have worked better if the film was told from Pomeroy's point of view. Here is a man who was once the king of the jungle and must now trudge along the dreaded morning show. Can you see the human drama potential with that? As much as I admire McAdams, her character was so underwritten, you will not connect with her. That is correct. Morning Glory is full of good scenes that did not mesh well in the end. As a TV news employee, the movie is near perfect. But as a film critic, there's nothing quite glorious about Morning Glory. That's wrong. And for that, Morning Glory gets two and a half, not quite ready for primetime kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Even Anchorman is more enjoyable than Morning Glory. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. See you on TV.